Employees want to have a reason to respect the supervisor and the safety person, and employees will respect a supervisor who admits they may not have a ton of experience or schooling, but that they're working on it. The supervisor who empowers his or her people to take a leadership role tend to get more respect than the supervisors or safety people who bark orders and rules. So why not have your more senior crew members take on some of the responsibility for helping out? Employees who are given the chance to put their experience to use, to mentor and coach others, tend to raise the level of their own participation. They become leaders in the truest sense of the word. And when given the chance to take center stage, most people won't take shortcuts. They'll set the right example, do the right and safe things. You see, if safety is a shared responsibility, and you know it is, then it can't always be up to only one person to call all the shots. Sports teams don't depend just on the head coach for the win. There are assistant coaches, special teams coaches, team captains, alternate captains, even dressing room leaders. So, Think like sports teams do. Share the responsibility. It'll help fill in the gaps of the formal training and the experience that you might be missing. Let your folks step up and shine. They will respect you for the trust you've shown in them. Now, while you're allowing your people to step up, what are you doing to boost your own skills? Look, in the same way that a roofer needs a roofing hammer, carpenter needs a square, mechanic needs a wrench, you need good tools to be a good supervisor or safety person. And books are the tools of good supervisors. Good safety people and supervisors need to be able to depend on three things, judgment, knowledge, and experience. Now, a beginner can do an adequate job with just two of those skills, judgment and knowledge, and they can be acquired through reading the right books, watching the right videos, attending the right classes. Experience, though, is what you gain through time on the job combined with good judgment and continuous learning. You've got to set aside time each day for your own tools and skills development and your time, not the company's time. You're working on your career skills. You'll take these skills with you if you ever leave the company. Books and learning are the tools of effective leaders. Get the right tools and you give your people a reason to like and respect you as a supervisor or safety person. For more strategies on how to improve participation in your safety culture, read all about the M4 method in my book, People Work, The Human Touch in Workplace Safety. Available online worldwide in paperback, Kindle, and audiobook. On Amazon, iTunes, and Audible.